Hello, good evening. My name is Yogyam Kumar. I'm a maths teacher at Ask IITNs. Today we are going to do construction chapter, which we already started last session. And we discussed about the weightage of uh, the marks. It comes in the board exams. So you cannot see this, okay. It is, it comes for four marks, okay. It is really easy chapter, right? We can do it, uh, like we can score full marks in this chapter, right? So let's get started with this chapter, right? Okay, so what are the topics we are going to cover today? These are pretty easy topics, very easy to understand. I hope you must be knowing before also, let you have the idea about this, uh, these two topics, construction of a tangent to a circle at a given point and construction of a tangent to a circle when point is outside the circle. First uh, topic is what? When point is there on the circle itself, right? Now, second part uh, point is what? When point is not on the circle, right? So that is what we are going to see. So <clears throat> let's get started. Okay, now here construction for tangent to a circle at given uh, point okay on the circle we we have the point on the circle right here so what we do actually we have a circle you can see here right there is a circle of some radius whatever the radius is given we will draw the circle now we will join that point which is given to us uh it will be like it could be any point right okay it is given we will join that point to the center because if circle is given its center, we know. If we don't know by chance the center, so we know the method how to find out the center of the circle, right? I hope you know in ninth grade we do that. If you don't know, I'm going to show you that. Okay, this case also. If center is given, we can, center is given, then we can join the point to the center. If it is not given, if just a circle is given, circle of radius uh, three centimeters given, center is not given, okay? So what uh, center is not given means what? We don't know where is it exactly. They just uh, gave us a circle, right? They just gave us a circle here and uh, we need to, uh, we need to draw. So uh, we need to draw the tangent here, right? I'll show you the, this uh, proper figure uh, by taking proper figure in the, with the help of online tools, which is what, okay, available on this one. Okay, let me show you right here. But these are the steps. Okay, you can see draw a circle with the required radius with center O, join the center of the circle with point P. Okay, OP is the radius. Now you need to draw a perpendicular there, right? You can draw a perpendicular, draw a perpendicular line to the radius uh, OP, this line will be the tangent to the circle at P, right? Because we know the concept that radius is always perpendicular to the tangent. That is what we know already, right? So that concept, using that concept, okay, we are going to do it, right? So let's do this work, okay? First topic only we are going to cover. When point is no, uh, on the circle, okay, how do we draw the tangent, right? So let me show you that with the help of this uh, online tool which we have okay it is called as uh, maths pad okay right so let's understand this so what do we say here uh, tangent when point is on the circle okay tangent when point is on the circle. So let's draw the circle. Let's say it is uh, some radius uh, three centimeter circle we have, right? I'm taking three centimeter radius ka circle. So let me make the circle first. Right? This is the center and we know it's uh, uh, center. Okay, by the way, this is the circle of radius three centimeter. Circle of radius three centimeter, right? Now I need to suppose there is a point, okay, on this uh, circle, there is a point here and I want to draw a tangent here at this point. This is my point P. Right, I need to draw the tangent. So what we need to do, we will just uh, make a, 
we'll just uh, make the line here we can join okay this line here we can take the help of this lines tool here right i can join it like this also now as we know already that radius is always perpendicular to the tangent you need to remember that radius is what always perpendicular to the tangent to a circle right when point is there on the circle so what we will do can we make uh, a right angle triangle over this here i can make a right angle triangle here I hope you know how to make right angle triangle. We need to cut two radii here. So now I can join the line here, right? This is what my tangent line. This is what our tangent, right? You can understand, right? This is what our tangent here. This if I name it here, P, P T is required tangent right i hope you got the idea now i was saying that suppose center is not given by chance center is not given then how to join the point to the point will be given obviously right some point on the circle right they will say or like point is given at uh, some with the help of some coordinates okay right like that okay now suppose cent, uh, this center is not given like they gave this circle just so means i want to like like suppose we don't know the uh, center how to do so you can take the help of two radii i can uh, two chords i can join here this is one of the chord this is another chord now their perpendicular bisectors i can make right i can make their perpendicular bisectors so i'm making here perpendicular bisectors here And wherever they are intersecting these perpendicular bisectors of these chords. Right here. Then I need to make perpendicular bisector here as well. My bad, I need to lock it. Now I need to join it. Okay, I need to extend it further. Yes, so you can see, okay, you can extend even more, okay, because you want to see the point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors of the chords. So you can see that is joining at the center itself, right? Because it was given to us. So this is our center. Right, so this is how we can do it, okay? I'll keep these uh, this work in the notes, so no need to worry, okay? You will have it in the uh, PPTs, okay? So let me save it, yes. 
Yep. So we got okay. First topic uh, of today, which is what construction of uh, a tangent to a circle at the given point on the circle, right? This point was on the circle. Now we are coming when point is outside the circle. How do we draw the tangents? Now it is not going to be one tangent. We are going to get two tangents in this case, right? Because from the exterior point, we can draw two tangents to a circle, right? So let's see that now. So from the, again, we need to join the center to the uh, that point. That point we need to join to the center of the circle. If center is not given, we know how to find out the center. If center is given, very good. Okay, join the center and the that particular point which is given to us. Now, what you are going to do, you will make perpendicular bisector of that line segment. We need to make the perpendicular bisector of this AO. You can see here, I'm going to show this work there in the uh, maths pad also there uh, with the online tool help okay but you need to understand this here right roughly as of now like this here and then wherever the intersection points we are getting okay those are what uh, tangents we are going to draw them right now how do we confirm that I'm going to show you that but this is what we need to do right so let's get started and by the way this question we can do right what are they saying construct a tangent tangent to the circle from the uh, point B having radius three uh, this center C point B is at a distance of 7.4 so let's do this question there right so what we will do let me clear this whole thing yes okay now I need to take okay let me write down the information what we have circle of radius 3.2 centimeter and point is I think 7.4 yes 7.4 distance centimeter distance from center of circle right so i note down the information already right let's do okay one second my bad yes let me take the yes 3.2 i have taken so let me okay i'm making circle here of 3.2 radius my bad i have removed that radius is equals to 3.2 centimeter and there is a point which is what uh, at a distance okay at a distance of what 7.4 so this point i'm going to mark as this is c this is the point which is what at 7.4 centimeter right radius we know radius is what 3.2 centimeter right so now i'm going to <clears throat> make the i'm going to make here uh, the tangents from this point right so you can see clearly two tangents we can make from a to this circle but before that what we will do we will get the perpendicular bisector of perpendicular bisector of ac make the perpendicular bisector of AC. So for that, I need to take more than half of AC. If you want, you can take a little bit. Okay, yeah, this much we can take, I think. Lock it. Okay, this one here. Now I need this side also, the arc. Now here. Yes, now arc here. Let's join it now. So we need to join this uh, 
here so it is joined now this is what our perpendicular bisector we got right now this point okay from this point i can make from this point we can make semicircle okay we can make a, a semicircle or we can make full circle also basically we need two intersection points okay now that's all okay we got the we will get our tangents okay which are nothing but okay these are uh, uh, our tangents okay this one here okay so you can see clearly here right okay if you extend these are our tangents by the way if this is a this is b so a p a, okay my bad okay we have okay we have already a point and b point so we can change it to p this is our p point okay let me join it again because it is gone this is our one of the tangent this is our another tangent right okay now to verify whether it is a tangent or not you can see clearly if i join okay by if i join here to verify this thing right i'm doing this work there is no need to do for you if you join this c a and c b if you join c and c b can you see this okay this angle angle c a p c a p is going to be 90 it is going to be 90 why why because this is what angle in a semicircle for this green circle it is angle in a semicircle so it is a kind of verification that radius is what perpendicular to the tangent so that's how we get this concept that this is what our tangent so we are using ninth grade concept here right i hope you got it right this is what we were supposed to do so we have completed the solution okay which was required pc is what 7.4 centimeter okay this is what we got okay so this is what okay you can see clearly this will be 90 this will be 90 so these are the two radius okay a p and b p these are what are required uh tangents which were uh, which we needed right so no need to worry i'll put this also in the notes okay so let me save it okay yes so this question is done i hope you got the idea these are what point of tangency right you can extend those points further also right because tangent is a line okay it is not line segment right you can make it further also so that's all this is what uh, we complete here right you got the idea i, I believe now we can do construct a tangent to a point on a circle of radius three centimeter. I've shown you that example before. Draw a circle with center P and radius 3.4 centimeter. Draw a circle with center P and radius 3.4 centimeter. Take the point Q at a distance of 5.5 from the center. Construct the tangents to the circle. We can do similar way what I just showed you exactly, right? Draw a circle with the radius this much, construct tangent to the circle from the point outside this. I hope it's pretty easy. You can do all these questions, right? Practice these all and you can refer, you can watch it. Okay, it is pretty easy topic, okay? Let me end it here. I hope you got the idea. You can take the online uh, tool help or you have the, uh, you have uh, tools with you also, right? So you can take the help of those or you can take the help of these all tools online okay this is by the way maths pad okay this is maths pad it is called as this website name which can help you right okay thank you very much for joining okay let's continue in the next class okay for the next lecture okay thank you uh -huh.